Moon Knight is a character appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. Created by writer Doug Monk and artist Don Perlin, the character first appeared in Werewolf by Night No. 32, August 1975. Oscar Isaac portrays Mark Spector, Moon Knight, Stephen Grant, Mr. Knight, and Jake Lockley in the Marvel Cinematic Universe live-action television series Moon Knight, 2022. Born in Chicago, Mark Spector is the Jewish-American son of Elias Spector, a rabbi who survived Nazi persecution. In the other void, a realm outside of normal time and space, the entity Khonshu, once worshipped as a moon god by the people of ancient Egypt, becomes interested in Mark. Believing Mark Spector to have a weak mind that makes him vulnerable to psychic connection, Khonshu chooses the boy to one day act as his knight and avatar. Soon afterward, Mark Spector begins showing signs of dissociative identity disorder. Mark believes he meets and befriends a boy named Stephen Grant, not realizing he himself is acting as Stephen at times. As a teenager, Mark exhibits another alter in addition to Stephen named Jake Lockley. The appearance of this third alter leads Mark's parents to send him to live at Putnam Psychiatric Hospital. Released to attend his father's funeral, Mark escapes and joins the U.S. Marine Corps, where he becomes a formidable combatant and a trained heavyweight boxer. After Mark serves three years in Force Recon, the Marines discover he lied on his paperwork and conclude his history of mental illness makes him unfit for duty. He is discharged and earns a living as an underground boxer and fighter in Baghdad until he is recruited by French pilot and mercenary Jean-Paul Frenchy Duchamp. The two work together on several assignments. During this time, Spectre encounters CIA operative Jason Massendale, who later becomes the costumed mercenary Jack O'Lantern and then becomes the second villain to adopt the name Hobgoblin. Mark's brother Randall Spectre becomes a mercenary as well, but is driven by bloodlust. In Italy, Randall kills Mark's girlfriend Lisa. After a violent confrontation, Mark leaves Randall for dead. Randall later recovers from his injuries. Eventually, Frenchie and Mark meet mercenary Raoul Bushman, who is impressed by their work and recruits them to help with certain jobs. Spectre considers that morally he exists in the center between Frenchie, a good man with a firm moral center, and Bushman, a ruthless, often amoral man who takes pride in his ability to kill. Spectre and Frenchie accept a contract with Bushman helping a local warlord in the Sudan quell a rebellion. Mark Spectre is appalled at Bushman's bloodlust and that he targets civilians as well as enemy combatants. Bushman kills Drive. Peter Alraun, an archaeologist whose team, which includes his daughter Marlene Alraun, recently unearthed a hidden tomb. Bushman intends to loot the tomb and kill any witnesses. Spectre scares off Marlene, saving her life, and then engages Bushman in combat. Defeated, Spectre is injured and abandoned in the desert without food or shelter, suffering in the freezing temperature of the night. We need your support by subscribing and liking and sharing the video to continue producing your favorite content. Mark Spector makes his way back to civilization before collapsing, near death. Locals carry him into the tomb and leave him before a statue of Khonshu, moon god and protector of travelers at night. Marlene realizes Mark saved her life earlier and prepares to mourn him as his heart stops. Moments later, Mark Spector revives, fully healed. He claims to have seen the moon god Khonshu and been chosen to now act as the moon's night of vengeance, the fist of Khonshu. Marlene believes this was a dream or delusion. Spectre returns to America with Frenchie, now joined by Marlene and determined to become a crime fighter called Moon Knight, adopting a white and silver Kevlar bodysuit coupled with Khonshu's hooded cloak. When asked why he would wear white and silver while operating at night, Moon Knight answers he is meant to be a light in the darkness and that he and Khonshu want their enemies to know he is coming. To fund his activities and gain influence in business, Spectre uses his Stephen Grant identity to start a business. Spectre, Grant then funds the creation of crime-fighting equipment and weaponry, including the Moon Copter. To help gain knowledge from street criminals and civilians, Mark becomes a taxicab driver as Jake Lockley. Lockley quickly makes friends with diner manager Jenna Landers and her sons Ray and Rick. Ray, a pilot, later becomes an ally of Moon Knight, piloting the Moon Copter when Frenchie is unavailable. Moon Knight also befriends Bertrand Crawley a former textbook salesperson who is now homeless and operates as a street informant. Learning of the criminal network known as the Committee, Moon Knight accepts an assignment from the group and pretends to agree with their agenda. Armed with silver weaponry, 
Moon Knight is sent to fight the werewolf Jack Russell in Los Angeles. After capturing the werewolf, Moon Knight later frees him and together they halt the committee's plans. Moon Knight then battles a variety of enemies and criminals, some on his own, some while teaming up with heroes such as Spider-Man, Daredevil, Drive, Strange, the X-Men, and the Fantastic Four. His own brother Randall, having recovered from their last fight, embarks on a career as the Hatchet Man, an axe-wielding serial killer who targets women. Moon Knight fights the Hatchet Man, who seemingly dies during their battle. Years later, Moon Knight learned that the Hatchet Man who died was an imposter. Randall had used drugs and psychological manipulation to convince the imposter he was the real Randall Spector, even having him undergo plastic surgery so they would be identical. During one adventure, Spector encounters the Midnight Man, a thief named Anton Mogard who steals for the thrill and wears a black costume resembling Moon Knight's own suit. During his battle with Moon Knight, Midnight Man falls into the New York River, seemingly to his death. In truth, he survives but his face is deformed by acidic sewage. Swearing vengeance, Midnight Man joins forces with Bushman and lures Moon Knight into a trap. Moon Knight survives and Midnight Man escapes again. When Mark Spector has visions of Khonshu summoning him, he decides to return to Egypt and investigate. In Egypt, Spectre meets priests of Khonshu who supply him with a new arsenal of moon-themed weaponry and declare he will now be a true vengeance avatar, the Fist of Khonshu. The moon god then blesses him with increased strength depending on how much moonlight shines down on Earth. With his new power and weapons, Moon Knight defeats a villainous priest of Anubis, god of death. We need your support by subscribing and liking and sharing the video to continue producing your favorite content. After returning to America, Moon Knight works with the newly formed West Coast Avengers. He time travels to 2940 BC to rescue the Avengers, where he gains replacement weapons designed by fellow Avenger Hawkeye. He then officially joins the West Coast Avengers and enters a brief romantic relationship with Tigra. Moon Knight and the Avengers are later attacked by soldiers working for Khonshu's rival, Seth, who is invading Asgard. After reuniting with Marlene and Frenchie, Mark Spector sets up a new home in a mansion in Southampton, Long Island, NY, expands his business into Spector Enterprises, and resumes his activities as Moon Knight. Soon afterward, he and the Black Cat cross paths with a new thief Midnight who wears the costume of the Midnight Man. Moon Knight learns the thief is 18-year-old Jeffrey Wilde, son of Anton Mogart. Moon Knight encounters members of the Knights of the Moon, soldiers of a rogue faction of the Cult of Khonshu, that led by Plasma, a mutant terrorist they believe to be the true chosen champion of Khonshu. Plasma is determined to convince different groups and cults she is their messiah, chosen by various gods, so she can then use her new followers to achieve global domination. Together with Ghost Rider, Moon Knight defeats Plasma's soldiers. Plasma inadvertently causes her own death when she does not heed Moon Knight's warning. Moon Knight learns from Spider-Man that Jeff Wilde aka Midnight is alive now operating as a cyborg warrior for the Secret Empire, and fights the Secret Empire alongside the heroes Spider-Man, Darkhawk, The Punisher, Nova and Night Thrasher. Encouraged by his nurse Lynn Church, whom he is now in love with, Wilde attempts a coup so he can lead the Secret Empire. During a final climactic battle, Wilde realizes that Lynn Church has been manipulating him and sees him as a weapon. Wilde destroys the Secret Empire's main base in New York City. Moon Knight and the Punisher encounter the renegade branch of the Cult of Khonshu again and its new leader Sandal Swarn, a former CIA operative and the lover of Randall Spector who now calls herself Princess Nephthys. Using mind control techniques she learned in the CIA, she was able to convince an imposter to assume Randall's identity as the Hatchet Man and fight Moon Knight, leading to the man's death. Assuming a leadership role in the Cult of Khonshu following Plasma's death, Nephthys declares that Randall will be Khonshu's true knight of vengeance. Randall and Nephthys destroy Moon Knight's house in a bombing that leaves Frenchie paralyzed. Calling himself Shadow Knight, Randall undergoes experimental treatment by Nephthys that gives him superhuman resiliency to injury thanks to a shell over his skin. Moon Knight is able to crack Shadow Knight's shell with an adamantium weapon. Punisher executes Nephthys and later unleashes heavy gunfire on Shadow Knight who suffers extensive internal injuries before then suffering a seemingly fatal fall. A technological villain called Seth the Immortal and his Zero Hour program threaten Moon Knight and all his allies. During a desperate battle, Moon Knight defeats Seth by blowing up his office with both of them inside, sacrificing himself in the process. 
Marlene is present and holds him as he dies. He is buried by his friends on the grounds of the estate he purchased as Stephen Grant. We need your support by subscribing and liking and sharing the video to continue producing your favorite content.